Let us now examine the creative strategy that we have used in marketing and how that needs to shift in the modern marketing world. The assumption that we have had in many cases, particularly for business markets, is that customers want information from us. They want to be informed about our products and services. They want to know what our differentiation is. They want to understand the value proposition. And we really have to tell them about the features and benefits of our product. This is a rational approach. It tries to engage people cognitively. It tries to convince customers and it tries to provide them with rational information. But there's a different way, a more effective way, and that is telling a story. Stories are powerful because they engage with us at a deeper level. Stories are timeless. Stories are ubiquitous. So stories transcend time, they transcend geography, they transcend language. So by using storytelling, you can engage with customers more meaningfully, you can create a deeper connection, and you can get past the clutter of all the other marketers who are trying to engage with their customers. So storytelling, again, needs to begin with an audience insight or a customer insight. Think, for example, what Procter & Gamble has done with the Olympics and how it engaged with moms. So the insight that drove this very successful storytelling campaign was the idea that moms take care of kids and they want their kids to be successful later on in life. That's a very universal idea. There is nothing more universal than motherhood and the love of mothers for their children. But what PNG did is to say that we associate, we want you to associate taking care of your kids with using our products because our products, our brands, really help you to take care of your children, whether it's washing their dishes or cleaning their clothes or taking care of them in lots of other ways. So this campaign, which was called PNG, the proud sponsor of moms or thank you mom, was a very, very successful approach because it really engaged with mothers and their children in a very, very emotional way. And in fact, if you see the videos of Thank You Mom, it's hard not to cry. Now, the storytelling idea is not just something that is used for consumer products. You can use storytelling very effectively in business markets too. Let's think of a few examples. GE, which makes industrial equipment, stuff that people don't find necessarily very interesting, at least consumers don't. And they've done a very successful storytelling campaign called Childlike Imagination. In the Childlike Imagination campaign, the child talks about what her mother does at GE. And it's a very fascinating and evocative storytelling idea that they've done in that campaign. It's very, very effective. And sometimes one single audience insight can lead to a very successful storytelling campaign. Microsoft in Australia, for instance, when they're trying to promote their Azure products, it's a data center, infrastructure, very abstract and very difficult to understand. The insight that they came up with was that IT professionals love music. So they created a phenomenal campaign, which was called the Sound of Azure, which took the dots and dashes of real data being consumed in the Azure uh, data center in Sydney and converted it into a symphony that people could play with and people could, you know, IT professionals could actually create their own symphonies. Very, very successful campaign. In fact, one of the most successful data visualization efforts in Microsoft's history and led to a significant over 10,000 new accounts being opened with Azure. So that's the idea and the power of storytelling. Because storytelling requires you to actually have a clear understanding of what is the main idea we're trying to communicate? What do we want the audience to do as a result of the story? Who is the protagonist in the story? What is their objective or treasure or passion? What is the hurdle or obstacle or villain that gets in the way? How do you then help them overcome this tension and this challenge? And then what is the resolution and the moral of the story? So that's the structure of a story. So I'm finding that more and more companies are starting to adopt storytelling as a way to break through the clutter and as a way to engage with customers 
at a deeper, more significant level because you're engaging with the heart, not just with the mind.